Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Hollywood Sports again. You know, right now, you get to see me live. You actually get to see my face for the first time live. But what I want to do right now is that I want to do a video for, uh, and anybody else that's watching, you know, I record all my videos with a uh, Roxio HD Pro. And sometimes I get a lot of messages on how I do my, uh, what I record with and how I do my audio because a Roxio HD Pro, you can't record your voice with the uh, video when you're recording. Um, you Basically, it was meant for you to narrate um, after you do your recording. But what I do is do my recording live when I'm doing it. And the way I do it, I use my microphone on my computer. And then I mesh it up together um, as I edit it with my uh, video. So what I want to do is uh, show you guys exactly how I do this. And this video basically is for Sports Gaming 1234 because he just got him a, a Roxio HD Pro. And he asked me to do a video on how I do my videos. Now, I don't really use this one section of it. Well, I'll explain that in a minute. So let me go ahead and get started. The first thing I do is uh, I go to my Roxio HD Pro uh, capture and I hit edit and share and while it's loading what I want to show you right here if you look at my arrow this is the video that I recorded right here because it goes when it's done recording it goes to my desktop and then when I talk to my microphone and I and I stop it, it and I put the, and I title it it automatically goes to my desktop too see it's called Madden Audio and this is my video so when I pull up the uh, edit editing window, I go to create new production. Okay, or you can edit a previous production, a uh, production. Okay, or you can edit an existing production. But see, we're going to create a new production. So I hit OK, and all I do is drag my video. Well, first of all, you're going to actually see me do this as I'm setting up this new video right now. I got my folder right here and what I do I go in and grab my intro so we'll go ahead and grab that one and I put my 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 intro right there um, first of all see there's a storyline you can do your editing here in the storyline and you can put your video and all your when you do it all your videos will be right up here and you just put them in those one two three four five six but I don't use the um, storyline I use a timeline okay I hit auto color when I stick my intro in there so I get the right color adjustment alright and then all I do is drag my video in it like that okay I hit auto color again and then here's my sound see it's separate my sound is separate right here and so when I put my sound in here I'm going to show you. I put it right here where the music is. Or you can put it down here. Well, I don't have it on there, but there's a narration. You can put it in there. Okay. So I just put it where the music is. Same thing. And I put it right there. And that's all the sound that I have right here. All the sound. And what I do is I try to match it up to what's going on in the video because it wasn't, it was recorded at the same time, but it was recorded separately. Um, it's recorded on the microphone, you know, plugged it to my computer. So what I do is hit play. And I see, and I try to see where my sound is compared to what's going on on the screen. And I'm going to show you how I got my, uh, how I get my voice recorder up in a second, which I should have showed you already. Okay. Maryland for this week seven matchup between the Atlanta Falcons and the Washington. Hello, Lakers. everybody. Welcome back to Hollywood Sports again. Hello, Coming to you live right now with our connected careers with the Washington Redskins, and we're going up against the Atlanta Falcons. You got RG3 on the docket right there, ready to go, warming up his arm. The excitement gets there. They come out in the field. They, they and you know, know RG3, he said he's going to be ready for the beginning of this season coming up and believe me in real I life. He's going to be ready to go. He's watching the Redskins like right here, ready to go. You got D. Hall. You got Garcon right there in the middle of the And see, right now, where I put 
when I put this in right at the beginning of the video, right here, because I'm trying to match it up. But as you can see, everything's my voice is matching up to what's going on on the screen. Because when I talk about a certain thing, it's actually happening with my voice. I recorded at the same time, but I have to match it up in the G3, editing. He said he's going to be ready to my voice as it happens on the screen. And believe me in I real life, he's going to be ready to go. He's watching the Redskins right here, ready to go. You got D Hall, you got Garcon right. See, he just named D Hall. Hey, let me run it back. See, I named the Redskins right. D Hall right here. Then you got Garcon right there. See, it matches up to what's going on on the field. So that's basically how I do my editing. Um, um, I, like I said, I don't do storyline. I do timeline. And a lot of people do storyline when they um. Right here, you know, ready they to do go. a lot of things. You got Garcon right there in the middle of the field, field. and ready to get things going. Campaign. There's a toss. Yeah, it shows on paper they struggle. So my voice is matching up to exactly what's going on to the field. That's basically what I do. We're going to kick the ball off. Okay. Before I go any further, what I want to do is show you how I get my voice recorder up. When I plug my mic in in my USB port what I do is hit my window right here and then what I do is hit sound rec well, I type in REC because I'm spelling recorder but it pops up when I push REC REC see my sound recorder pops up right here and I click on it and then it pops up right here and so when I start my recorder I hit start recording and when I do my um, when I do my um, capturing I hit capture I hit capture and then I hit start recording and then I start talking as I'm playing my video. So that's how I get my voice recording. And then when it, when I hit stop recording, a window pops up. I set the title to the recording and then I hit OK and then it pops on my desktop. I mean, you can send it wherever you want, but I put it on my desktop. And as you can see, this green line is moving right now as I'm talking. See? And that's how my voice is recorded. So then I take the voice recording right here and stick it in music and I take my video when I stop capturing pops on my desktop and I stick it in here. And that's basically how I do my videos. Be and I just make sure that my, my voice is matching up with believe. what's going on on the field. There's my boy Foster right there. So let's check it out for a little bit see so I can make sure. There. Then I'm going to show you how I uh, render the video and everything. There's the coach. We're playing under the lights. Right, so and it's time for kickoff. As it looks like kickoff. It's, it's showtime. Away. The Falcons in kick return formation. This is real time, everybody, what I'm showing you right now. I'm in my house right now, you know. You got, uh, I'm watching the Mariners, and I click back, and I'm watching the, the Players' Championship with Tiger Woods playing golf. I'm hoping he can keep his position. I gave up a lot of yards on that now return right there. The See, everything's matching up right Ryan. now. Matt Between Ryan. my video and my audio right here. Here's Matt Ryan. Let's see if everything match up. I always double check before I send it up though. Before I save it. First down and ten. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Shove to the sideline. Big Tony Gonzalez on that catch. Here's the offensive line. And for this team, they are the lifeblood of the offense. I'm going to try not to make this video too long. Well, this team can do some serious damage. As you can see right here, it tells me how long this video is. Once I edit it and everything, once I render it, it's basically 21 minutes long. Offense lines up here. There's Ganton, my new right side linebacker, coming inside, didn't catch him. The middle of the field. Oh, that's good enough for the first down, their first of the day. Confidence, it's an unbelievable thing, isn't it? When you get that first first down in the game, it gives you a little confidence. Week maybe blitz most three. It gives your coach confidence. Yeah, let, me, let me back that up. i make sure that matched up. I wasn't paying attention right there. I was listening to something hey, else. See what play I call and my voice it, matches it up. You get that first first down in the game, it gives you a little confidence. We blitz most three. It gives your coach confidence. The defensive coordinator That's exactly calls. how I did it when I was recording. First down, offense ready for the snap. Back to the air here on first down. The get it, get it. Throws to the right. Oh, overthrow him, overthrow So everything's matching up exactly how I did. Oh, with a snap so my voice anyway. is matching up to what's going on in the video. In the That's basically right what I do when I, when I edit my videos. Yeah, Perry Riley and O'Ganther. See? And C. Hope and T. Johnson. My two safeties. 
Let's check out one more thing, and I'm going to save it and show you how I do that. That's a whole bunch of receivers lined up on one side for this play. Michael Turner takes the handoff. That'll stop the play right there. Nothing like the draw. Now you are pick up, guys. Come on, let's go. Pushing up the field to hit the quarterback. Boom. You hand the football off. Big running lanes. That's and I'm actually going to so put well. this video up right now. You're going to get going to see me put it up. Double tight end set. You're going to see me uh, render it anyway. Double you won't be able to see me put it up. I don't want the video to be that long, but you know how to Good put hit. videos up. Good hit, Hall. See, everything's matching up so far. So what I do, I go ahead and start, back it up because I know it's set like it's supposed to be. You have my video and you have my audio, everything set up. So what I do is go up here to File, and I hit Save As. And then what I do, I keep a counter to Productions. I'm on Production 80 right now. Well, actually hiding that, but I started when I had did a few videos. So what I do, I put production 80. All right. And then I hit save. All right. And then what it does, is so you can see production 80. Part of it saved right here. And some of it's right here. Okay. So what I go is I go to output, right? And I put export as. When I go to export as after I saved it, right? Now go down here as a video file quality. I go to 1280, 720, 60 frames per second. So I go to 720p. See that? You have 20, 720, 24 frames a second, 50 frames a second. I go to 720p. Or you could go to 1080 at 60 frames a second down here. 1080i, 1080p. But I go to 720p. Clicking on that, and I hit Create File. And then the video starts rendering. Okay, when that green bar goes all the way across, it's a rendered video. See, I render my videos before I upload it, and I don't know how that works. Uh, I don't know if it's the same for everybody else, depending on what type of recorder they have, but this is how I do it. So, Sports Gaming 1234, I don't know how you uh, upload your videos, but once it's rendered, and then you can upload it to YouTube. And the way I upload it to YouTube, okay, I go, I go to YouTube. Here, let me do it real quick. <clears throat> I go to YouTube, and then I hit Upload right here. I hit Upload, and then I shrink it a little bit, and then when that when that finished rendering, that video is going to pop out here on my desktop. All I do is drag it right here. It says Select Files to Upload, and then I, I put my title on it and all that, and it uploads to YouTube. It's real simple. I don't know how everybody else do it, but this is what I'm doing. So right now, this is, like I said, coming to your lab right now. And what I do is wait till this video renders. Okay. And then after it renders, it pops out here on my desktop. And then I drop it into the upload on YouTube. And that's how I put my videos out. So that's how I edit all my videos. Um, like I said, I don't use, uh, I don't use the uh, storyline. Um you could be more productive with storyline. You could be more creative. You could do some really cool editing, but it takes a long time. So I make it simple. You know, I don't like chopping up my videos anyway. I know everybody does it so they can not have long videos, but I want at least smooth running videos that's complete, no gaps in between. And you just saw what I did. So I have my game right here, and then I put my voice in here, and then I make sure my voice is matching up to what's going on on the screen, and then I render it. Is that simple? You go to output, and you go to as, and then you go. You set your your uh, your frame rate and your um, you know 720p, 1080p, or whatever you want to do. And then, like I said, it pops out here when it's done, and then I upload it to YouTube. So, uh, sports gaming one, two, three, four. I hope that helps you. Um, I don't know how you were doing it before. Um, you, I don't know if you're adjusting your video. I don't know if you have an HD TV or what type of TV you have. But based on your video, uh, like I said, just go to output and adjust your, uh, your, your quality of your video. Okay? I hope that helps you. Leave some questions in the comments or send me some comments um, directly to my channel. Uh, as always, everybody, until next time.